Hey everyone, it's Nicole here for Spellbinders and I'm super excited to share with you five cards featuring not only the Truckin' Through the Seasons large die of the month from October 2018. It was super popular. They brought those back out as an individual purchase, but now there is an add-on called So Many Sentiments. So you can customize that tailgate with more sentiments and I'm going to use five of those new ones for my cards today. We are going to start with some Whip Cream Fun Stamper's Journey cardstock. And I am actually going to stamp a sentiment here up at the top using an everyday script sentiment from the Fun Stamper's Journey stamp set. Emboss this with silver embossing powder. And then I'm going to emboss this panel with the Fun Stamper's Journey Beach Towel Embossing Folder. Now I stamped and embossed it first because I did try doing it the other way and I did not get a good stamped impression. And I didn't really feel like uh, cutting this out and I don't have the coordinating dies for this. There are coordinating dies so that would have worked a little bit easier. But anyway, that is the steps I took for my background. All of my backgrounds today are gonna feature Fun Stamper's Journey embossing folders. Um, some sort of a greeting or extra embellishment, and then of course the truck and through the seasons truck. For this one, we are going to be creating a wedding themed card, which I absolutely love. The truck has been die cut from Fun Stamper's Journey Tin Pail card stock, and we are simply backing this with foam adhesive. So I want to back the entire truck with foam adhesive, and then I've got all my little parts and pieces here. I have die cut my sentiment from River Stone Fun Stamper's Journey cardstock, and then that extra rectangle back behind was die cut from Tonic Studio White Pearlescent cardstock. Everything is kind of more of that silver and shimmery, glittery look for this card because remember it's a wedding card, so I definitely went for a little bit more um, soft and romantic. Then I have die cut the gift packages from the Truckin' Through the Seasons die collection from the Tonic Studios White Pearlescent cardstock, Sugar Crystal cardstock, Frosted Silver Mirror cardstock. And we're going to assemble the gift packages and the bows all in the bed of the truck. And then that greenery is Fun Stamper's Journey fresh sage cardstock that we will embellish with whipped cream flowers. The tail are um, the chrome pieces, I guess I want to say, and the side view mirrors were all die cut from silver mirror chrome cardstock. This is from Tonic Studios. I was really particular with my cardstock choices because the backgrounds of my cards are super simple and the truck is definitely the highlight of the show. Once we have those elements kind of tucked in here or ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and peel the backing paper off of all those foam adhesive pieces and then pop my truck in place. The wheels for all five cards were die cut from Tonic Studios black velvet cardstock. And now we're simply adding those bows to the gift packages in the bed of the truck. I will be linking to another video at the end of this one showcasing three more cards made with trucking, trucking through the seasons dies. Um, strangely enough, this the little uh, gift package here is the only thing I didn't use in those cards and I'm using it multiple times today in these card shares. So just really fantastic die collection. It was, like I mentioned earlier, very, very popular. So many requests to bring that back and Spellbinders did and they even added this add-on to make it even more versatile. So really awesome. It's back in stock. So pick it up because it definitely keeps selling out. I am adding the lights here, the tail lights. These were die cut from the white pearlescent cardstock. I'm popping up the side view mirrors with foam adhesive as well. And we really just have a couple more things to do to finish off this card. 
I'm using the stylus tip on those little flowers from the Trekking Through the Seasons dies to curl up the edges a bit. And then I'm going to glue those in place and add some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Oyster Gray to the center of these flowers. I really wanted to keep this card more along the elegant side, even though it's kind of fun and whimsical, but the colors all definitely make this a little bit more of an elegant style card. We are going to pop this panel now onto a white top fold card base, and I even die cut additional leaves and flowers from the Trekking Through the Seasons die collection. And I'm going to trim down the greenery and pop that up next to the scripty word in the sentiment to help balance out my design just a little bit more. So don't be afraid to customize your dies. Trim down that greenery if you want to to add more of it to the card and kind of balance out your design a little bit. There is a close-up look of that adorable little truck. Now this particular embossing folder, the beach towel embossing folder I used for this, is smaller than A2 sized. So I trimmed my background down to 4 inches by 5 and a quarter and matted it on my white top fold card base. Our next card is going to be kind of a love themed card, again featuring a new tailgate die cut so many sentiments greeting. Our background was die cut using the I Heart Fun Stampers Journey embossing folder. This one is an A2 sized embossing folder, so it's going to completely cover the background of our card. We are going to stamp and emboss a sentiment from the Text Happy stamp set from Fun Stampers Journey. We are using All You Need Is Love, but a little chocolate here and there doesn't hurt. I think that's a really cute and fun little sentiment that works well with our truck. You can also definitely simply switch out your greeting, maybe, or even leave it off. You wouldn't even have to add anything extra if you didn't want to. And this would make a fantastic Valentine's Day. Um, definitely the colors of this card lend themselves well to a Valentine's themed design. Now, in addition to using this rectangle piece from So Many Sentiments to back our tailgate, to give it that contrasting color, I wanted to show that you can also use it to die cut your small stamped phrases and things like that. I used that die to die cut a perfect little rectangle out of that sentiment from Text Happy. We're going to back that with foam adhesive and pop it in place over the I Heart embossed background. I again have all of the elements for the truck out and ready to go and I'm simply going to start putting it all together by layering that die cut tailgate piece that says I love you. This was die cut from Fun Stampers Journey bubblegum cardstock and I'm going to then map that over Tonic Studios white pearlescent cardstock but I've also die cut the greeting again from Cranberry Bliss which is the same color I used for the stamped and embossed sentiment and we're going to inlay the heart in that design. We'll back the truck with foam adhesive. I did find adding the wheels first makes it a little bit easier because then we can just kind of secure those in place with our foam adhesive. And I'm being sure to make that the foam adhesive goes over those die cut areas on the truck because it makes it very easy to inlay those silver chrome pieces. Our truck was die cut from Watermelon Fusion cardstock. This is an awesome bright pink. More gift packages are going to be placed in the bed of the truck. These were die cut from Bubblegum, Cranberry Bliss, Fun Stampers Journey cardstocks, and Tonic Studios White Pearlescent cardstock. Each will have a contrasting bow on the package and then we'll add some greenery and flowers along the truck bed edge as well.
There are so many different options. You can even go through other dies that you might have in your collection that will work with the truck and through the seasons. I'll show you an idea for that here in just a little bit with my final card. We're going to pop our truck in place and then we just have a few additional embellishments to add plus that nice chrome trim. Again, the chrome cardstock is Tonic Studios Chrome Silver Mirror cardstock and it's my absolute favorite for die cutting the bumper on the truck, the side view mirrors, and any extra little chrome pieces that I want to use here and there. You could leave the card as is and not add the greenery, but that little touch of green really just kind of adds a fantastic finishing touch to this really sweet love themed card. By using this sentiment, this card could be sent to anyone at any time and not just at Valentine's Day. Don't forget to pop up those side view mirrors with foam adhesive if you're using foam adhesive back behind the truck as it really makes everything go together much nicer. I'm adding my tail lights and I'm even going to take some glossy accents and add that to my tail lights to give them that glossy raised finish. I'm also adding the little white flowers just like I did on the last wedding card. And I'm going to finish the center of these flowers with the Oyster Gray Nouveau Crystal Drops. Lots of little flowers really help soften up that truck and finish it off perfectly. We'll use the glossy accents not only on the tail lights, but on the heart that we've inlaid into the I Love You as well, so that you, we really draw attention to it. Our next card is a Christmas themed card. I know that we're super far away from Christmas, but it's never too early to start thinking about those Christmas themed cards. We're using the Fun Stamper's Journey Pretty Plaid Embossing Folder for the background of this design. I love this embossing folder. In fact, I absolutely adore all of the Fun Stamper's Journey embossing folders. They're amazing. I am going to go ahead and use sentiments then from a Past Small Die of the Month Club Kit, this is the November 2018 Club Kit, called Holiday Greetings. It's got a deer, um, some greenery, and then all of these great sentiments, and we are using Merry Christmas from that. I've die cut it from the Tonic Studios Black Velvet cardstock that's been adhered to Fun Foam with Stick It Adhesive. It's a big, bold greeting on the card. I love mixing and matching dies from past club kits or or other die collections from Spellbinders with or mixing and matching different collections for my cards is what I want to say. It's a great way to get more mileage out of the products we already have. We're going to be tucking the tree into the bed of this truck. The tree was die cut from a combination of fresh forest and hazelnut blend Fun Stamper's Journey cardstocks. The truck was die cut from Cranberry Bliss cardstock, and then we're using some of the Tonic Studios black velvet or white pearlescent cardstock for the tail lights, for our so many sentiments, greeting, little places like that, and then the stars that we're going to place on our actual tree in the bed of the truck are all going to be die cut using the Truck and Through the Seasons dies and Lawn Fawn Holiday Sparkle cardstock in gold. So we'll add the bigger star to the top of the tree and then there's some little stars that will scatter throughout the tree. That adds a little bit of holiday sparkle to the design and rounds it out nicely. Again, the chrome silver mirror cardstock was used for the bumper. Any of those little inlay areas around the tailgate of the truck, and the side view mirrors. I purposely tipped the tree at an angle 
to give it a little bit more of a natural look, but to also not completely cover up the hood of the truck or the uh, roof of the truck or my sentiment up above. I've also only applied adhesive through the center portions of the tree and not out at the edges. That gives the tree a little bit more um, movement and doesn't tie it down quite so hard. I'm going to take some additional greenery pieces from the Trekking Through the Seasons collection and die cut those from that Fresh Forest cardstock and then die cut some little holly berries using the Holiday Greetings die collection that same collection we got the Merry Christmas from and embellish our die cut sentiment up near the top. We've got all these little stars as I mentioned a second ago that have been die cut from the Holiday Sparkle cardstock that we're scattering throughout the tree. These are super teeny tiny and I only did five of them just to kind of balance out the design. We'll glue our holly and berries down in place up at the top and that's going to round out our Christmas themed card. This pretty plaid background is a two sized so I'm not going to trim this background down but instead adhere this entire thing to a white top fold card base. All of my card bases today have been die cut from Fun Stamper's Journey whipped cream cards, card stock which is a great white. Next I'm going to do a fall themed card and this time I have embossed a background using the barn wall embossing folder. This is one that looks a little bit better trimmed down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. The design of this one is very similar to the love themed card where it has a little sentiment that I have stamped from the text happy fun stampers journey stamp set and die cut with that rectangle from the so many sentiments die collection. We filled the bed of this truck though with a pumpkin and greenery and lots of flowers. Let's move on to our final card today, and this is a birthday themed card. I am using the May Small Die of the Month Club Kit Dies Enjoy the Ride, the balloons from that with the truck and the no new So Many Sentiments uh, tailgate sentiment, pardon me, and we are going to make it look like this truck is floating up in the clouds. I purposely used the above the clouds embossing folder for this card design so that it looks like this group of balloons is holding the truck up and it's floating in the clouds. We're using lots of bright colorful Fun Stampers Journey cardstock here including Huckleberry Fusion, Chambray Shirt, Cranberry Bliss, Pineapple Smoothie, Limeade Splash, Orange Creamsicle, and Beach Breeze. The wheels are again from Black Velvet Tonic Studios cardstock and the bumper, side view mirrors, and inlay are from the Chrome Silver cardstock. I've tied some thin string to the ends of my balloons and I'm going to knot this and then kind of just glue it in place to the truck to give the illusion that it's tied to the truck and the truck is floating in the clouds. I thought I'd tie it to the truck, but I did not really like how that looked, so I went ahead and knotted it, and then we'll just glue it in place. I will also link to my cards featuring the Enjoy the Ride Small Die of the Month for May 2018 at the end of this video if you want to see some additional ideas on how to use these balloons with the scooter that comes with that Small Die of the Month Club Kit dies. We're going to glue this in place. No additional stamping was used for this particular design. We're going to let the tailgate sentiment that says wish big speak for itself. We'll add our tail lights, add a little glossy accents to those tail lights to really make them shine. And we'll also take some Nuvo Crystal Drops in White Blizzard, which is a sparkly iridescent material and add highlights to the balloons so they have just a little touch of sparkle. I love that this card could be used for a boy or a girl, man or woman. It's not really gender specific and the great primary colors will work for anyone. 
The Above the Clouds embossing folder is another one that I think looks better at four inches by five and a quarter inches and then matted on a card base. Here's a look at all of the cards that I have showed you in this video today, including the birthday card I just finished, the I Love You card, the wedding design, the Christmas card design, and finally, our blessed fall-themed card. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this set of five cards featuring the Spellbinders So Many Sentiments dies that coordinate with the Trekkin' Through the Seasons die collection. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Spellbinders dies that you might be interested in. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll catch you next time.